It's been a good summer, a lot of change. Um, and you know, a few new things to, to get used to, but you know, now we've got Simon in, we're heading in the right direction, and things are moving forward in the you know the right way. Uh, and then we had a good start last week in uh, Bucharest, so it was good to good to get a nice win under our belts going into the season. It was difficult <laughs> to say the least. Um, we were very fortunate that. Uh, you know, we had Barry Maddox came in and Russell Earnshaw was still here as well. So we weren't left completely to our own devices. Um, and we had the strong back in the S&C team and, uh, and, our, and our head physio, Remy Mobed. So those guys sort of drove, drove everything really. And, and as players, we just had to get on with it. You know, I mean, we took it week by week, knowing that a coach would come um, at some point. Um, we were made fully aware of that. It just, you know, just a case of, you know, getting on with the graft and the grind of pre-season, which every rugby player knows is never going to be fun or easy. So for us, it was quite simple, just get our heads down, do as we're told. And If you went back five years, I'd say yes. But in this day and age, that's not the case. You know, the, game, the game's evolved so much now. And you know, I've, been, I've been fortunate enough, I actually won my first cap against Spain. And I think we put 40 points on them, but they'd come together two days before, flown over into the tournament because they'd, they'd won a wild card entry into the London Sevens. Now, they're a full-time outfit, you know, and they're going to all the, Europe, the European FIA tournaments and they're, they're, they're growing and growing and growing as a rugby sevens nation. Um, you know, the same can be said for Kenya and plenty of other countries who a couple of years ago would have been foregone conclusions. That's not so much the case. So, Spain, Come up, you know, is, the, is our first game, but that's as much as much of a test as our, our game against South Africa in the evening and against France in the afternoon. So, you know, can't rest on our laurels, and we've got a new coach to impress. We're building at the moment. You know, we've we've got a massive development phase at the moment of the fact that we've got a new coach, and like, like you suggested, you know, we've got a. We've got to develop and understand what he wants from his game plan, and we've got to develop and understand each other within that framework. Um, I can to promise you this: you'll expect that there'll be a lot of pace because we've got bags of it. You know, um, we just need to make sure that we're, we're all reading off the same hymn sheet as uh, as everyone else in the squad, and I think we'll build throughout the season. Um, and you know, Gold Coast, you know, who knows? But we're, we're going to definitely give it our best shot. In all honesty, haven't thought about it. <laughs> um, it is massively exciting. The sport's growing. It's going to be. It's an unknown entity at the moment. You don't know where it's going to end up. It's, it's short. I'm sure it's going to explode. When along the line, I don't know. Um, but ultimately, you know, and it, it sounds boring, and it is the old cliche. But we've got a game against Spain in two weeks, and that's the first thing that's in the format of our mind at the moment. If anybody starts thinking about Rio, things will start slipping. So. You know, you just got to take it as it comes, and that's that's next week. I think everything else is on the horizon. It's all exciting and fantastic, but I think our eyes are firmly on Spain come Saturday morning in uh, in the Gold Coast.